Well, after gathering supplies, I'm finally back at it. Luckily, I had a few friends slide through to help some of the load. That plywood is some kind of fire resistant ply or whatever, or OSB. And man, that stuff's heavy. I wasn't real sure how much I wanted to pitch this roof, but I wound up going with nine inches difference from the front to the back. Seemed to work out pretty good. Really, Brody? Brody never missed the opportunity to drop his football by us. Didn't do anything super fancy here. Just put up the sides, put the plywood on the sides, and then built the frame on the inside. I used a two by six header across the top because I figured I would be connecting a hinge to the top so that I could lift it up and get in there easier. Once I get this thing sealed up real good, my intention is to paint the inside. I laid out the top on the floor and built it there because it was just easier to get to. Here was the initial fit on this. It wound up being exactly what it needed to be. I used a two by six header across the front on this too. My intention is to have the door kind of slip in there. Here I test fit a piece of the insulation. It seemed to go pretty easily. Thankfully today the rain was supposed to stop at 10 o'clock in the morning, but here it is almost three and it's still raining. At least I got this stuff put on. I'm making a little progress. Apparently they had triple welded this top on this thing. Nearly Gosh. destroyed it getting it off. I used two by fours rather than two by threes on the top so that I could fit two pieces of two inch foam in there and then add a half inch riser to fill the difference. Just on the top I used some double sided tape so that I could stick some plastic to it and seal it off real good. Here it is with the plastic on there and then the half inch strips I used to get it level with the top. Here's me laying out the plastic corrugated roofing. Man, that stuff's tough to work with. This stuff is so flimsy. I wish I'd have got metal, but at this point, it's what I got. One thing to note here, one thing to note here is that I didn't think this would be as heavy as it actually was. My tractor would not lift this thing with the insulation in the top. So I had to take off the roof, set it down, move the thing in place, put the roof back on. At least I know it's pretty mobile. With a bigger tractor, it would definitely be mobile. started caulking the seams on the outside. 
My intention was to just not have any uninsulated air going in there. Obviously, the foam paper and the uh, insulation, I'm sure, will allow air through. I didn't want to trap moisture in there because I'm going to seal the inside. Put some house wrap on it just in case any water gets below the surface. And this stuff i am using for the floor, I'll admit, it didn't feel great. I'm not even sure if this stuff is gonna dry. I just don't know. This is old. <laughs> but, okay. The elephant in the room is this is already over budget. In reality, this is probably gonna be about $900 total without the equipment. So, yeah, like and subscribe.